Nature Journal, How Seeds Travel. A curious thing is happening in my schoolyard this year. I cannot believe how many acorns there are under the oak trees. The ground is covered with them. The last few years there weren't this many. In fact, I don't really ever remember seeing this many acorns in a single year. What is going on? I checked all the oak trees in my schoolyard and near my house. I found the same thing. I knew I needed to find out more, so I walked to my friend's house. Again, I found an unbelievable number of acorns. Then I remembered that my uncle has a lot of trees near his house. He lives about four hours away from me, so we emailed each other. Here is his reply. Hi, it's great to hear from you. I've got to admit, I wasn't really paying attention to the acorns this year. The squirrels and blue jays are busy eating, burying, and collecting them. And there aren't as many on the ground. So I'd say we have a normal number of acorns this year. But three years ago, my oak trees created an overwhelming number of acorns. This was true for all the trees in my area of the state. Let me know what you figure out, my little nature detective. Love, Uncle Jim. Hmm, why are all the oak trees around here producing so many acorns? I asked my teacher and she suggested I go to the library. The librarian was almost as excited as I was. She actually said to me, The squirrels don't even know what to do with all the acorns in my yard this year. After a short search, we found a book about trees. We reviewed the index and went to a page about oak trees. This is what we found out. Some oak trees produce acorns every other year instead of every year. Other oak trees produce very large crops of acorns every four to ten years. These same trees produce smaller crops of acorns in other years. The book went on to say that in years when the trees produce smaller crops, the trees might have damage from insects or bad weather. In those years, the squirrels and other animals are able to eat most of the seeds. When the trees produce lots and lots of seeds, it is called a mast year. During a mast year, they all produce a greater number of seeds. This gives the oak trees a better chance to reproduce. During mast years, the animals can eat and store the seeds for winter, but they can't collect all the seeds. They leave many seeds to grow into trees. Now that the acorn mystery is solved, I've started looking around a little more carefully at how many seeds plants create. Seeds are everywhere. The maple trees have seeds that twirl away from the adult plant. A strong breeze can send hundreds, maybe thousands of dried twirlers out away from the parent plant. A dandelion puffball has about 50 parachuting seeds. My brother and I once had a contest to see whose dandelion seeds stayed in the air longer. I won! One of mine traveled up into the air and out of our sight. My mom wasn't too happy with this game. She said, stop! You're blowing the seeds of weeds everywhere. I guess she didn't want weeds all over our yard. I think she forgot that wind could do the same thing. The chain link fence at the far end of our schoolyard is covered in berries that birds love to eat. I've heard that birds will digest the fruit of the berry. Then the seed will just pass in their droppings and might produce a new plant if it lands on warm, moist soil. It's no wonder so many weeds grow out in our schoolyard garden beds. Seeds have so many different ways to travel. They're so plentiful and they're everywhere. That's what I've discovered about seeds in my schoolyard. What can you discover in yours? Thinking about how seeds travel. Look at these pictures. How do you think these seeds travel away from their parent plants? <laughs>